Perfectly Clear is designed to save you time and automatically adjust images to look their best. One way of using the Perfectly Clear plugin is to let the technology automatically analyze your image and make recommended adjustments. You can also guide this process by using presets. Let's take a quick look at correcting your images with Perfectly Clear. Make sure that Adobe Photoshop Lightroom is running. I've selected a few images in the library to show you the different presets in Perfectly Clear. With the images selected that you want to use, choose Photo, Edit In, Edit in Perfectly Clear LR. The Perfectly Clear window opens and the software goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your images. By default, the Details preset is applied to your images. A preset is simply a combination of adjustments. Think of it as a recipe that's been designed to solve specific problems. You can choose from any of the eight presets designed by Perfectly Clear to quickly improve your photo. While presets cannot be combined, you can modify them or create your own, but more on that later. Let's take a quick look at each preset and see what they're designed for. We'll explore each in greater depth in another video. The details and vivid presets are designed to work on all image types. Both are very useful to improve most images, and you can decide which you like the best for general enhancement. Click the right arrow to switch to the next image. The next two presets, Beautify and Beautify Plus, work well for portraits. Beautify Plus applies stronger adjustments to your subject. Let's switch to another image by clicking the right arrow. If you have a really dark photo, try the Fix Dark preset. This works well to brighten your image on really dark images or backlit images. Dark images may also have a lot of noise. Let's zoom to 100% magnification by pressing the Z key to check the noise level. Click on the image to see the before and after state. You'll see that this image had some noise, but the Fix Dark preset can also improve a noisy image. If you have an image that's not dark but has a lot of noise, such as shooting at a high ISO setting, then try the Fix Noise preset. Let's switch to another image. If you shot with an improper white balance setting, or your image has a strong color cast, try the Fix Tint preset. Let's switch to another image and try our last preset. The final preset is Landscapes. This preset is perfect for enhancing landscape images when you want a photo to pop. Now that you understand the basics of each preset, be sure to watch the Taking Control and Fine Tuning Your Photos video to learn more about each. For even more control, you can switch to the Adjust tab to modify, add, or subtract adjustments as needed. Remember, you can toggle an adjustment on or off to judge its impact as you learn what each one does. As you master the adjustments, be sure to click in the preview area to see a before and after state or switch to a different view to compare. If you change your mind and you want to exit without applying the filter, just click the cancel button. Once you're satisfied with an adjustment, click the saved button to process your selected image or images. Congratulations on learning how to make essential adjustments to your images with Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch more of our videos to learn about what each adjustment can do to improve your images. Thanks for watching.